What is common size analysis? Well, this is generally an attempt to analyze the financial performance of a company, an organization, a unit based upon its financial performance. So what you're doing here is you're identifying some metric of the company's performance that is oftentimes a subset of a larger metric. And you're saying what percentage that metric makes up of that larger amount. Say, for example, cash as an, is a type of asset. If you looked at the whole of assets, what is the value of all the assets? And you looked at cash, well, the amount of cash you have, the value is going to be some percentage of the total assets. So you're taking this performance metric as a percentage of the base in this scenario. Now, with that said, there are two types of common size analysis, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is where you're comparing during the same time period uh, like elements, usually from different companies or different units within a company uh, during that same time period so you can compare their performance. Now, the size of these units, the size of these companies, the nature of them, the characteristics may be different. So that's why you're working with a percentage rather than absolute numbers because it allows you to put these things that you're looking at on common footing, okay? Vertical would be a very similar thing, but you are doing it not in the same time period. You're looking forward and backwards in terms of time. This is uh, subsequent periods or previous periods. So like I say, the company may have grown, it may have changed in nature. So you need to put these metrics on the same footing by using one element of a base right, the metric you're testing out of the whole base so that you can compare it on equal footing. All right, an example, say for in the balance sheet, you look at assets and you look at debts. Well, a small company may have a um, million dollars worth of assets and $500,000 worth of debts, where a mega company might have a billion dollars uh, in assets and 500 million in debts. Well, that metric, if you compared uh, debt to asset ratio, would be the same between the two companies because, once again, the percentage is the same. So you're putting them on equal footing in this regard. Okay, uh, Income statements, all of your calculations like net, uh, net margin, gross margin, operating margin, any of these are by their very nature percentages, uh, metrics for performance. So again, using a common size analysis in these where you can put the company on the same footing with the other company you're comparing or this activity group with another activity group that you're comparing, um, it helps to do it in a common size format. So that's how common size analysis is used in evaluating the performance of a company or units of a company.